Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to use some, uh, some styles and some JavaScript in order to arrange images in a stack, and then when you mouse over, the image that you're mousing over is on top of the stack. And the images I'm using are over here at uh, Flickr Creative Commons under uh, Patchy Patches Photo Stream. So we had some nice photos, uh, outdoor scenes and things like that, so I grabbed about five of those photos. And I've already saved them over to my computer. So what I'm going to start off here, I've got uh, obviously the outline of a HTML5 page. Let me go ahead and resize this a bit. And I want to start to set up the HTML first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little div called collage. And within that div, I'm going to go ahead and put in my images. Um, I'm going to rig it so that each of these images is a hyperlink over to uh, Patchy Patch's photo stream. So I'll just go ahead and do a href in there, and I've got the uh, URL copied, so I'll paste that. And I do need to give each of these a unique ID, so I'll go ahead and just call this photo1. And let me zoom out just so it's fitting entirely on the screen. Okay, and then it's a matter of putting in my images. So my images are in an images folder and photo1.jpg and I'll just do a empty alt and then I'll put a title in there um, from patchy patch alright and a closing anchor tag there we go so that's the basic image right there and I'm gonna go ahead and grab this I'll copy paste 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 one two three four and I've got a total of five images let me just clean these up a bit and I need to refer to each of the unique images so that'll be two three four and five two three four and five excellent so let me go ahead and save this and launch this in Firefox and let's see how it's looking here and of course by default I'm getting my images stacked one on top of the other as they should do so let's go ahead and start to fix things up and to do that I'm gonna go ahead and run up to the style area so I'm gonna just do some internal styles with a set of style tags with the HTML5 you no longer need that type attribute so I can I can ignore that and for my collage I will do position relative because I'm gonna absolutely position my anchors within that Within the collage, all of my anchor tags will be, um, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and display them as block, even though that's not too critical. And I will do position absolute. Okay, now it's simply a matter of putting in the position locations for each of my anchor tags. So let's see, I will have, of course, in my collage a first child. This is going to be the first my first image. Remember each image is wrapped in its own set of anchor tags so this is my very first one and I will go ahead and position that 10 pixels from the top and um, 10 pixels from the left. Now I'm going to kind of repeat this a bit here. I'm just going to copy this but my next one is going to be the anchor that's adjacent to my first child and for that one I'll push it like 30 pixels away so this is going to be a 40 and 40 okay I'm going to repeat that and I'm going to do another adjacent selector there we go and this will be 70 and 70 He's starting to get the pattern here copy that and I'll just paste that twice and let's see I need another plus A and then two there so 70 and this will take us down to 100 oops not a thousand if we keep our every 30 pixels pattern and this will be 130 and 130 so if you haven't seen the adjacent selector in a while here's how I'm using it today basically I'm controlling the position of my very first anchor tag the first child anchor tag which is within my collage div then I'm going to be manipulating the anchor tag that is adjacent to my first anchor tag then I'll be manipulating my anchor tag that is adjacent to my 
anchor tag that's adjacent to my first anchor tag. Now this isn't a terribly efficient way to go. In fact, since all of my anchor tags are uniquely identified, I could have just referred to each of those images by their ID. But I hadn't done an, an adjacent selector in a little while, so I wanted to incorporate that in there. But um, yeah, obviously this starts to look a little bit more convoluted, but just keep in mind, I could have always done uh, pound sign photo 5, okay? But why do things simple when you can get a little bit more practice out of stuff, right? So now that I'm positioning all of these images, let's see how things are looking. So I'll just refresh on my browser, and now all of my images are stacked one on top of the other. Okay, so the next order of business is to write the script to get them to change their stacking whenever I mouse over a particular anchor or image, depending on how you want to look at it. So got the style part taken care of. Let's create an area for some script. And I don't need to put in the type attribute, text slash JavaScript, just good old script tags are going to be fine. And I'm going to write a couple little functions here. Even though there's five different ways these functions are going to be called, I'm going to pass arguments so that way I can use the same function multiple times. And my first function, I'm going to go ahead and call it uh, stack to top. And then I'll do a set of curly braces. And then within this, I'm going to go ahead and create a variable called photo. And it's going to be document.get. Oops. There we go. Ellen by ID. Now, this is where I'm going to really start to talk about the passing arguments. Is basically each each image, each anchor tag actually, has its own ID. So I don't want to put in something like uh, photo one, okay? Then dot style because photo one refers to only one of my five images. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in the generic photo ID. And since I'm going to put in a, ger a generic placeholder there, that does need to go in my function name too, photo ID. Now when somebody mouses over a particular anchor tag, I'm going to take the style of the image in question. So photo, which is my variable, dot Z index equal to 10. I'm just going to make a big number and since I've got five images I could have done actually I could have done a five there. I'll just do a really big number so that way I know it's going to be on top. And that'll be the end of that function. I've already got my closing curly braces. So that's the basic idea. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. There we go. And paste and my second function will be stack to bottom pretty much the same concept except now I'm going to change the Z index to that anchor tag to zero so even though I'm referring to photos technically I'm manipulating the anchor tags in my page because it's the anchors that surrounding the images the person's gonna be mousing over the anchor and and so forth so I'm dealing with my anchor tags and even though I did a display block that wasn't uh, wasn't essential so I could certainly take that right out display block for my anchors and really nothing has changed yet I mean if I save this jump over to my browser and refresh nothing's changed because although I have those scripts and functions available I'm not calling them at all so we do need to call those functions so keeping in mind I've got two functions stack to top and it's going to ask for the ID of the photo in question and stack to bottom also going to ask for the ID of the photo in question so I'm going to call one on mouse over and call the other one on mouse out so I just scroll on down here and I'm going to put these in my anchor tags so I'm going to do a on mouse over equals stack to top and then I need to put in photo one is the ID in question and then I'll do an on mouse out stack to bottom photo one pretty much same basic concept there closing quotes okay so on mouse over on mouse out okay and that goes inside of my anchor tag I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that and I'll uh, paste it to each of these then I just need to go through and change the uh, arguments that are being passed three and three where am I that should be a two wait what 
nope, that should be a two, two and two. Okay, so let's kind of see what's going on here. So for my first image, when I mouse over, it's going to call my stack to top function, and it's going to tell that function that I'm manipulating my photo one image. Okay. So what am I manipulating about my photo one image? Technically my photo one anchor tag. Well really I'm just changing the Z index or the stacking. The bigger the number, the more on top it is. Okay, bigger number wins. So I've got this already saved. Let me just head over to my browser and I'll refresh. There we go. So now as I pass over each image, it stacks on top. And when I move mouse out, it goes back to a zero and the next one goes to a 10. So looks like things are working and that is a little bit of manipulating the Z index with a JavaScript. Have fun.